For anybody who thought that perhaps the Catholic Church was going to agree with the left on everything, or a majority of things, now that we have a more progressive pope, think again. Mediaite reports, quote, A gay priest who came out this weekend, along with the revelation that he has a boyfriend, ended up getting fired by the Vatican. Monsignor Christoph Karazma, Karamza, uh, said he decided to come out in the hopes that it might add to the conversation about homosexuals and the Catholic faith. But the fact that he came out with a boyfriend led him to getting fired. The Vatican stripped him of his duties and said in a statement, the decision to make such a pointed statement on the eve of the opening of the Synod appears, to, appears very serious and irresponsible since it aims to subject the Synod Assembly to undue media pressure. Now, Pope Francis alluded to the gay marriage issue when he said the Catholic Church can't be swayed by, quote, passing fads. Yeah, okay, so uh, this is annoying. That's what it is. Because on many different fronts, this Pope has appeared to be much more reasonable and he's been trying to drag the Vatican with him. We've spoken about the issues before. Hey, atheist, if you're a good person, maybe you can get into heaven. Um, at other times, he said about gays, ah, who am I to judge? And we can go issue for issue. On economics, he's much more liberal than previous popes, to the point where he's slammed unfettered capitalism, for example. So, he's been better, but we can't forget that he's still a religious leader who plays dress-up every day like it's Halloween. In other words, this is not you shouldn't be looking towards the Catholic Church or any religion for serious political policy proposals and ideas and concepts because it's not going to be based on evidence. It's not going to be based on rationality. If they're right on certain things, in essence, they're right by accident. <laughs> oh, so you hate unfettered capitalism. Good. Why? I read a passage that Jesus said X, Y, and Z. Oh. That's better than you being against it, but I'm not going to fucking applaud you because it's not like you sat down and thought about this rationally and looked at economic data from various countries over three decades or whatever. No, you were just like, this is my God. My God said that. I'm for that. Well, then you just open the door now to sometimes being right because Jesus said some things that a lot of us can agree with. But then other times, if that's your criteria, what does my book say? Well, then what the fuck? At least half the Bible is just pure lunacy. So when you stumble across the passage that says, you know, a man can't lie with a man and you know what the punishment is, well then, fuck, I, you're a dangerous person insofar as you actually believe that. And this goes for all the different holy books too, man. I'm not giving anybody a pass here. Islam, I'm looking at you too, buddy. I mean, there are plenty of people who read the Quran or read the Hadith and they come across the most grotesque passages about throwing gays off roofs like in the Hadith or other passages in the Quran and they go, yeah, well, this is what I'm going to do because this is what I think my God is instructing me to do. Now, again, it's, all, it's always a complex situation because you could cherry pick good stuff or you could cherry pick bad stuff from any holy book. But the bottom line is, should this be your main criteria when you're trying to determine how we live in the year 2015? If your answer is yes, that's that's not acceptable. I'm sorry, but you're you're not you're not at the adults table. The adults table is uh, we're trying to have conversations in a democratic context about civil liberties and rights and how do we craft a constitution and how do we get the right policy to deal with problem X, Y, or Z. If you're if you interject at any point with, well, this is my opinion and I believe that because I have a voice in my head that basically is a fairy from another universe who created everything and then can micromanage things, but doesn't want to get too involved, so it just whispers to me, it doesn't just fix everything. So this is my opinion because of that. Well, then I'm going to say, let me introduce you to Thorazine. Because that's not, you know, this isn't... This isn't what... This isn't how you have rational dialogue. We can have a logical conversation, but once you start sniping in, you drop a fucking stink bomb in the middle of the conversation with, I believe this because of my thousand-year-old desert book, well, now we're, where the, does the conversation go? I, I, there's nowhere to go with that conversation. What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, okay, thanks. Now, let me tell you my opinion, which is based off of the study from 2007. And it, it, it's not a... You ruined it, basically. You ruined it. 
So for the Pope here, what I would say to the Pope and the Vatican for this is, I've seen all your pictures. You all got fucking shaved faces, you pricks. Fuck you. You're, here you are, uh, you know, pa passing fad, Pope Francis said about gay marriage. Uh, fire him because he's gay. No, fire you because you shaved your fucking face. How about that? Remember, the gay hatred in the Bible comes from Leviticus. The part about how it's an abomination in the eyes of God to shave is in Leviticus. So fire yourself, slapstick. You're cherry picking. That's what you're doing. And you're still okay on some level with discriminating against gays when you do a lot of the things that are equally as bad sins and you don't think twice about it. So the bottom line is, you're not even exactly following your doctrine even though you think you are. But furthermore, you shouldn't even be following your doctrine. If you really want to say you're the more liberal religion and oh, we're open-minded and the other people aren't, well then fucking act like it. And if, if you want to, if liberal Christians and liberal Muslims and liberal of any fucking faith, if you want to fully jump into a, a true modern day understanding of enlightenment morals and ethics, well then stop at nothing and continue to cherry pick the shit out of only the good parts and never revert back to the shitty parts. Because if you're going to be religious, the least you could do is only cherry pick the parts that make you a sane, kind, moral, ethical human being. Not sometimes cherry pick the good parts, and then other times, eh, it's the gays, let's continue to discriminate against them, cause fuck it, it's the gays.